My name is Chris Jefferson. I'm the head girls basketball coach at Sebastian River High School. How long have you been coaching here at Sebastian River High School? I started off um, shortly after I graduated in 97. For a couple of years, I actually coached boys basketball. And then after um, there was a, a change of um, head coaches, I came over to the girls basketball team, which I did a couple of years here, um, which I left in 2002. And I came back in 2005, and I've been here ever since. What inspired you to coach girls basketball? Um, just, I mean, uh, just helping them out a lot of times. I used to go to the middle school gym and work out with Miss McCarthy and, and just work with the girls all the time. And then I just felt like girls worked harder. I just felt like they played, with, played hard. They didn't have all the athletic ability as the boys, but they played with a passion. So I love that about it. What are your team goals and motivation? Team goals right now, we wear our shirts together. We try to do everything together. Uh, we want to be a, have to create a family atmosphere, number one. Number two, I just want the girls to go out and have fun and play as hard as they possibly can play. And if they do that, then you know the, the process is it's the small things, it's working out, and I think that will help us end with a good ending result. How has the team evolved from when they first started to now? Well, from uh, when, I, when we first started um, with the girls' basketball team, it just those girls back then was a very, very, um, very, very into basketball. A lot of times, I felt like they played with that with that passion, like I said before. Um, and we had, we had a good amount of numbers. Lately, since I've been back, I took over. This is my fourth year as the head coach here. Uh, we have been limited with the number of girls that have been trying out. So just the number of kids, that's, that's been the biggest involvement. Just girls not coming out to play basketball anymore. Um, Starting in middle school, the, the numbers have been very low. So we're hoping to pick those numbers back up. Do you do bonding activities so the players get to know each other? We try to. We try to incorporate a lot of things. Um, um, this year, I think one of the first things we did, we took the kids to the bowling alley. Uh, we, we, we did things at the bowling alley. We try to create a, um, a family atmosphere. Um, we do go to like the tournaments and things of that nature. Uh, we're trying to put out more things for them to do um, so that we can cre create that bond even closer. Did you create a family bond atmosphere? I felt like after, when I first took over, we used to have a lot of distinction between the girls. I felt like this year was the first year we didn't have that. I felt like we did a very good job of creating an atmosphere that was more family oriented and the girls bonding together. Uh, we didn't have to deal with a lot of riffraff off the court, which is something that is very pleasing. Now it's just time to, to go ahead and get back to that level of play that we really want to be at. Why should anyone join girls basketball? Well, we should join girls basketball because I feel like it's a, it's a great thing. I, I played football um, in college, and I'm, one of the things that I realized is that there were some players there that, I never, that we would never lose in touch with. You create a family that you would never lose. You create friends that, that you th never thought you could create, and you always have a sisterhood that will continue for the rest of your life. Thank you.